This is Soul Messiah with SoulMessiah.com and you're chilling with me in the Beat Lounge. Now what the Beat Lounge is, is where I introduce you to the dopest underground hip hop producers in Atlanta. Whether they're from abroad or they're from Atlanta. The point is to bring you that part of our culture in hip hop, which is the production. Today I'm chilling with my man Illa, or Illustrate, as we like to call him. And uh, I'm gonna let Illa take it away. My name's Illustrate from Fort Wayne, Indiana, here in Atlanta. And uh, my main thing I do is uh, traditional hip hop. Well, I like to call it traditional, traditional hip hop, boom bap, whatever you want to call it. That's what I do. I think I started making beats around '98. The end of '98. Before that, I was rhyming, and the reason I started getting into beats is, well, I'm from Indiana. A lot of people don't even sample. You know what I'm saying? So I was always into the sample music, the boot camp and you know East Coast music, but none of the producers around would make that. So with me rhyming and rhyming over these keyboardy beats, nothing wrong with that. But you know, I just wanted that, you know what I'm saying? I want that feel. So um put out an album in 97, 98, I bought my first sampler, Kai S20. Made that to the Rolling Groove Box, the 303 and um, started making beats there. And uh, uh, Cat, I know y'all might know him, Graf, Yuri put me onto the, the whole MIDI and controlling and all that, so shout out to him. But um, that was when I just really, really, really got into sampling, sampling and um, buying records and digging and all that. So that was about 98. This piece right here is uh, mainly a piece I started using in 2000s, the Insani EPS 16 Plus. Um, like I said, I've been using it since 2000s. Uh, samples, real gritty sound. Sound that I like. A um, few cats have used it. I, I know of uh, RZA, Havoc, cats like that. Shout the board out. And um, it's always been good to me. You know, I was able to do what I can do on it. I uh, did the Brody Champs album on here, I did some of the Black Noise album on here, some of the uh, Book Brown Grind Season mixtape on here, and I did a couple tracks from that's going to be on Mojo's uh, or Methuselah's upcoming album on here. But uh, it's always been good to me, been a trooper. Uh, we go over here, uh, like I was saying earlier, I've been on the uh, Reason since... 07. Shout out to my man Slop Funk Dust put me on to that. Had reason for years, but I never used it until like 07. So we use an Insonic in conjunction with Reason. You know, we got the turntables and um, this is the Axiom. Axiom 25. Um, just use this to MIDI with Reason and, and um, also I MIDI the uh, Insonic to Reason as well. Just so, you know, play as much as I can and um, that's that. Um, we running everything. Got everything MIDI and sequence as well in Logic with um, the Sapphire interface. So what we could do is we can use the Insonic, we can use the Axiom, we can use Reason all together with Logic. You know what I mean? So I like to do that from time to time and just kind of while out. You get your ideas down real quick. Um, yeah, that's about it on the equipment tip. Try to keep it simple. I'm not really a gearhead, so. That's the, that's the gift. Currently, we're in, we're in the middle of promoting still the Black Noise album. We dropped it almost a year ago on um, just strictly digital, but now we, you know, into the physical phase of it and um, getting it more into the street. People who can't really get online and get it. Um, Black Noise album is me and Arafat, he's an MC from Ohio I met in 04. And um, between that time and now we were, we've been working on songs and finally put the album out, like I said, last year, June 16th. And um, it was pretty much well received by the people I wanted to receive it, the hip hop uh, community that I was really, you know, that I feel like I come from received it pretty well, so I was, I was pretty happy with that. Um, also worked on um, 
Book Brown's The Grind Season mixtape. And started working on that in like 08. <clears throat> and it was just a bunch of songs and she had an idea for a mixtape she wanted to do. So we ended up putting it together with the help of um, DJ Am Dex from Clandestine. And um, what else? Um, I just did a joint on Do It All's solo album. Do Kelly, American Do is the name of the album. He just dropped that May 5th. Uh, the song that I did features him and uh, Tretch from Naughty by Nature, and it's called Negotiation. So you can check that. Um, what else am I working on? Well, and I'm right now working on a new Black Noise album. I'm still up in the air for the title, but we're about six songs in on that. Um, did two joints for the new J Live album. I'm working on a project with, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that right now, I won't. Um, I'm going to do a project with Methuselah real soon called The Mind Rollo. We in the middle of uh, getting beats and ideas and stuff together for that. High Gravity, which is my album, um, on there so far I have Mike Flo, Cam Moy, J Live. Uh, Bug Brown, Shred from the Five. Um, uh, what is on there? Anything else is on there? Bunch of people. It's gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, just I, I try to stay busy with ideas, like concept themes. So, so I um, try to do projects with artists. Like I said, I'm doing one with. Uh, Mojo doing one with uh, Mark Speck pretty soon. That was called Persona Non Grata from Brody Chance. And um, yeah, just try to stay busy. Oh yeah, and doing one with Dynast too called Teddy President. <laughs> Straight. And when I'm not for breezing my beard, I'm chilling with my man Soul Messiah in the Beat Lounge. <laughs>